general herpes symptoms. What are they? Well, it's important for me to say that just because your herpes may show up on your genitals doesn't mean that the herpes virus changes, right? HSV1 or HSV2 can both be found above and below the navel. So that is just location. Herpes is herpes. So the symptoms are symptoms. Symptoms don't change just because it's on your genitals. If you test positive for herpes, you are not alone. Here we learn, here we heal, and here we overcome. You are more than just herpes. Welcome. Welcome back to my channel. I am Coach Shayna Singleton. If you are new here, I've been living with this virus for almost a decade. I've been researching this virus for seven years now, and I've been doing the active field work, coaching and interviewing thousands of people who test positive for herpes within the past four years. I am the founder of Slay the Stigma, a coaching program where I help women stop their outbreaks and break free from shame so that they can get laid author of several different books, member of the National Coalition for Sex Health, as well as featured in many publications like Brute, America, BuzzFeed, Input Magazine, as well as hashtag our stories for my work within the herpes community. Now let's get into it. I'm sure that you're here because maybe you tested positive for herpes and you have yet to experience an outbreak and you are anticipating symptoms. You are anticipating the outbreak. Well, let me just help you real quick. Only 10 to 15% of people living with the herpes virus actually experience symptoms and outbreaks. Most people living with herpes are asymptomatic, meaning they show no symptoms at all. So if you're not showing some no any symptoms, you are no normal. Please do not anticipate the outbreak. You may never, ever, 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 ever experience an outbreak. There's even some people who have one outbreak and never get an outbreak again. Now, with that being said, if you are asymptomatic, I highly suggest you watch this video here. This is asymptomatic viral shedding. Now, let's get into it. Prodrome symptoms. Prodrome symptoms play a crucial role in understanding the herpes virus and anticipating an outbreak. These symptoms are physical sensations that serve as early warning signs indicating that the virus is preparing to move from the spinal nerves to the skin's surface. They can manifest anywhere from a few seconds to a few days before the actual outbreak occurs. So it's like the symptoms that appear before the outbreak warning you that an outbreak is coming. Common prodrome symptoms associated with herpes include the following itching tingling that's one that i experienced we're all different you're not going to experience all of them take take what you need leave what you don't um a burning sensation now it's important for me to pause on burning sensation because there's people in the community experiences that experience a burning sensation on their outbreak site before the actual outbreak and then there's people who experience it, a burning sensation as they are having an outbreak, right? If you're someone who is experiencing a burning sensation during urination, I highly suggest that you view this video, which is um, some tips on how to avoid pain during urination. Now let's keep going. Muscle aches, headaches, nausea, swelling, redness. Cold symptoms and fever symptoms. Pause again. Cold sores, fever blisters. Well, herpes is not a virus that attacks the immune system, but it is a virus that likes to take advantage whenever the immune system shuts down. So when your immune system shuts down, you're then more susceptible to having an outbreak. But guess what else you're more susceptible to having when your immune system shuts down? A cold or a fever. Hence why we have names like cold sores and fever blisters. Keep going. Nerve pain. I have to pause again. Just because I've said nerve pain in this video and I'm telling you that nerve pain can be a prodromal symptom does not mean that the nerve pain you are experience, experiencing is associated with your herpes. I did my due diligence and I do this with my clients 
to track all of my habits, all of my outbreaks and collect the data on myself to prove that my nerve pain was associated with me having outbreaks with my herpes. Just because you're experiencing nerve pain doesn't necessarily mean it has anything to do with your herpes if you don't have the data to back it up. And it could be, it could raise an alert for you that something serious is going on. All right. So don't automatically assume that your nerve pain is associated with your herpes without doing your due diligence to collect the data on yourself. Last but not least, swollen lymph nodes. That is a common one within the community. These symptoms can vary in intensity and duration from person to person. Recognizing prodrome symptoms is beneficial as it allows individuals to take proactive measures to manage and potentially minimize the impact of an impeding outbreak. By identifying these early warning signs, individuals can employ strategies such as initiating antiviral medication, practicing self-care, reducing stress, and avoiding triggers that may exacerbate the outbreak. Being aware of prodrome symptoms empowers individuals to stay vigilant and take prompt action to mitigate the discomfort and duration of herpes outbreaks. It reinforces the importance of self-awareness and proactive management strategies in maintaining overall well-being for those living with the virus. I am so happy to have you all here. Make sure you subscribe. My mission is to be at war with the stigma until our community feels comfortable being open about their status and proud of their sexuality. So I really, really, really need your support. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Every Monday, I will be dropping a new tip on how to live holistically with the virus and how to manage outbreaks. Every Wednesday, I'm going to educate you about the virus, how it works and what it is. And then every Friday, we are dismantling the stigma where I will be interviewing different individuals living with the virus, bringing in um, experts within the mental health space and within the holistic space to help guide you along your journeys, as well as sharing my own experience and what I do with my clients and breaking them free from their own internalized stigma. You know, that fear of transmission, that fear of rejection, that fear of disclosures, and all that anxiety that comes with that. Thank you for being here. Like, subscribe, share. I just want to say this too. I go to therapy and I've been in therapy for almost three years. And it's nothing like having someone who actually gets you on this level. So I just want to say, I appreciate you. One thing that I've learned is from my own therapist is not about the actual school that teach you how to be a therapist and show up for people is the real life experiences. So I just want to tell you, thank you, because this is doing so much. And so I even have therapy on Thursday before I came here, like to this group. So I just want to let you know certain things that we get, or I'll speak for myself, but that I can get from you that I can't get from someone else that doesn't walk and live in this world. So I just want to say, I appreciate you and thank you very much. Thank you.